Welcome back, everyone, to Starfield. Let's undock. Say goodbye to other Sarah. Biz Bizarro world Sarah. That's a cool shot. And I believe we're going back to the lodge. Oh, yeah, over here. Nope, not that one. Over here. There we go. I like that it lets me though, if you if you click on a moon, you can click on the planet or another moon, or if you're on the planet and you see a moon, you can click on it and it takes you there. Like that's nice. It doesn't make you like back out. I have never quite been able to think of New Atlantis as home. Though I suppose I should. You're a great ventriloquist. nothing else constellation does have excellent lodging yes they do hey i've been talking with the others and i'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye i have news you know to sarah yeah about that uh yeah i'll be there noel i promise thank you it wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Folks, you're not gonna believe what just happened. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. It's the center of a multiverse. We're building the way to it. Uh... There's an infinite number of me out there. I feel sorry for all of them. Sarah is alive, a version of her from another universe. I kind of do want to lead with that. What? It can't be. Our colleague is alive in some alternate dimension? A am I hearing this right? Hate to be the responsible one, but the big bombshell of what we're actually building here might need another second to sink in. <laughs> Want to go over this whole multiple universe thing for everyone? <laughs> yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. <laughs> I thought that might happen if I kind of like just jump straight to that. Oh, right. Yeah, you need to know about the multiverse. Uh, I met a version of Sarah. She told me the unity creates the starborn and they can cross universes. Apparently in another universe, I died and Sarah lived. She's the emissary now, a starborn. That's still too quick. Trust me, there's multiple universes. The unity is how to get them. It makes, yeah, okay, go with the first one. I met a version of Sarah. She told me the unity creates the starborn and they can cross universes. Oh, Mateo would freak out if he knew that, that the, who the hunter was. Explains why the starborn want the artifacts so bad. Get them all and You've got a gateway to infinity. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus what it would do to the mind, enlightenment, or oblivion, like the hunter. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist. And you're second guessing it? <laughs> One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. Hmm. Think of what awaits us, a new life, the powers of the Starborn. We should all take time you, uh, to think about what this means. You okay? Uh, yeah, this is our mission, to go into the unknown. You're right. We have to see the unity for ourselves. You know it. Now, once everyone's head stops spinning from all of this, we can get back to work. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Good job. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. These last glimpses from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Starborn. Oh, I just noticed they got the place fixed up too. You can see the ship is back on the table. Thanks, Vladimir. I'll follow up on these. Catch a smile out there. All right, Freya 3 and Iridani 2. Got it. Anything else from anybody? Nothing? Everyone, you can feel it, can't you? The lodge just feels empty. 
All right, so we've got five days until the... I need to inventory all our equipment and other odds and ends for damages. The lodge feels a little colder than it. Okay, uh, actually, Constellation hey. Constellation has suffered losses before, although none quite so violently. Right? I Good will take, be monitoring Vasco. everyone's fight. I am ready to commence a trade. All right, let me take this from you. Look at this thing. I think that's another version of what Andresia has. We're going to give that to Andresia. Andresia. Oh, there you are. I'm not sure when things will feel safer. But we have not been attacked again. Did you need me to? Yes, it is. So let's switch over. Elemental Bridger is what it's called. Let's go back to hers now. Yeah. So it... What's the difference here? Oh, it actually doesn't have... So this is incendiary. Randomly deals incendiary damage. But this has uh, plus 10% against humans. Random elements. And then crippling. Yeah. You need to equip that. Hold on to the other one, too. Just in case. You forget how much you take a place like the Lodge for granted. Until it's threatened. Yeah. Okay, so what are we up to now? What are we up to now? So we've got a number of main quests. Go to Nova Galactic Research Station. The emissary has given me a key to a base on Luna, Earth's moon, saying I'll learn more about the artifacts if I investigate. I think that's what I want to go do. Uh, wait for the service. Okay, yeah. Oh, uh, we need to keep a we need to keep an eye on the days. I don't know how long like travel time is in this. Whoops. Too quick. Like how many days is it going to take for me to just get to our moon? Wow. This is really close to... I took a screenshot of that. I was thinking about cropping it. Um, this is really close to somewhere I landed before. That's funny. All right, Andres, are you with me? You are. See, you got a, you got a suit. You're good. Don't worry about the cold. Just checking. See if there's anything interesting. I don't think there's anybody here. Yeah, it doesn't appear to be. Anything back there? I don't think so. Impressive All right. Impressive that such an old structure would be in this shape after over a hundred years. I gotta quit being such a loot goblin. How's my inventory, by the way? Eh, it could be better. Okay, definitely not used for a while. Voltaire, I want to remind the research team that Voltaire is a highly proprietary supercomputer that is currently being con contracted exclusively for the use in Project Prism. It is not meant for your own personal projects. Yes, I'm amusing. Yes, it's amusing to see just how many decimal points of pi it can calculate. How many bits of encryption it can brute force or whatever, or whether you can simulate table tennis with a perfect aerodynamic simulation, but there will be time for that later. For now, I need everyone concentrating on hitting our deadline. We are developing exciting new aerospace technology with our partner and client. That should be more than enough to keep anyone from being bored. 
All right, play the recording on the roof. Okay, we're happy to announce that the first test launch of Project Prism will be held today. I would like everyone to suit up and join us on the roof. Okay. It would seem that the occupants left in a hurry. Yeah. Hopefully for no reason we need to be concerned about. Oh, that was that. I've got one of the mods I've got shows me like the value to weight ratio on that colored bar. I haven't really explained that yet. Which can be pretty handy when you come across certain things. Oh, hello. Don't mind if I do. Go. Thank you. And succeed at that before we are discovered. I wish she said that dialogue like as you start locking or lo as you start picking the lock. Okay. I can do this and this. This is only here. So probably that's the only option there. Yeah, it would be. It's got four. Perfect. That's just two. Uh, don't. I don't have two that'll fit that. So we'll just have to do two singles. This and another single. Ooh, a new lawgiver. We shall see how that compares. Uh, no. Uh, oh, gosh. I, I hate when I look up here and I see rare or exotic and I'm like, ah, fine. It's like I have a hard time not taking it. I need to, I need to build a, a, a an outpost pronto so I start using some of this stuff and, and I need to start leveling up uh, all the crafting uh, skills so I start using these things that I'm collecting Voltaire really is something else a supercomputer so powerful, they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations, just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. <laughs> you didn't know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> You're welcome, humanity. <laughs> oh, col option, collect all of the slates. Oh, we have to do that now, don't we? Bat ball cap. Oh, brother. Shielded lab outfit. Well, now we're going to be here a hot minute. Okay, let's go look some Oh, 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 it's marked for me. Ah, ha, ha. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Voltaire is being reconfigured for this new initiative. The math we're being asked to crunch is ambitious, 
even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with these original equations? Our partner isn't being very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. Okay, so that one was marked maybe because I walked by it, because I don't see another one marked now. Gotta be one though, right? Oh, did you pick? I missed that. But I do kind of know what I'm looking for now, so that's good. I was about to say, please tell me those drawers don't open. Nothing over here. Oh, restricted equipment key. Don't mind if I do. Aha! Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. I admit, this is not the most disciplined team I've ever run. Malcolm keeps stealing computational time on Voltaire and thinks I don't know this. And Sabina's been distracted lately, but won't tell anyone why. I really should demand answers from both of them. But honestly, I'm too preoccupied with this contract. We all are. Despite anything going on in our personal lives, there's something special about what we're building here. All right, we're still looking for some. We are still looking for some. Okay. I like how this was a, an optional quest that you pick up by chance of just seeing the first item. You ever get jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard building the actual vessels that are going to travel the stars. We're literally on a base on the moon. <laughs> oh, come on, Sabina. I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that? Ha! Okay, confession time. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? Oh, hey there, I'm a scientist, deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm back from space. <laughs> it's not a great opening. <sighs> you seriously can't get a date? You don't have to or not. <laughs> Hey, no one asked you. <laughs> also, that's awkward that you were what listening to my recording. Okay, maybe one upstairs. There may be more on the roof, too. accepted the assignment up here, we were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap, and she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh, just got word that she passed. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I'll, uh, I won't be able to go to the funeral. <sighs> Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. That was so sad. Is the abacus anywhere around? Oh, jeez, you scared me. Oh, 
Oh, she scared me. I was really hoping the abacus would have been like sitting here. Okay, to the roof. Checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All signs green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine Some that. Of the One miracle of science and a shot from here. Counting down. Five. Strange four, to be standing on such three, a unique bit two, of history. One. Canaveral, are you reading? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years, Nova. Go to NASA? What? What? Oh! That's awesome. And we're going to do it next time. We'll see you guys then. Adios. Goodbye.